If you've seen those beautiful apple roses online on Pinterest or YouTube and they look super complicated, I'm here to show you today that they're actually surprisingly easy, absolutely beautiful, and we can make them from scratch right in your own kitchen. My name is Tessa and I'm from HandleTheHeat.com where I love to share homemade baking recipes and these apple roses are perfect for fall, perfect for Thanksgiving, or any time of the year. So if you'd like to learn how to make these apple roses, then just keep watching. So we're starting out with our apples. They are the star of the dish. So I'm using two honey crisp apples. You can also use Pink Ladies or Brayburn. Just make sure that they're nice and fresh and free of any bruises or blemishes. And it's preferable to use organic apples because they truly are the star of the dish here. Either way, make sure they're really well washed. So we're just removing the core and then I'm going to slice the apples in half. These are really large apples, so if you don't have a big enough knife or your knife isn't very sharp, it may be easier to slice them into quarters because what we're looking to do is make very thin, eighth inch thick slices. These slices are going to make up the petals of our roses, so we wanna make sure that they're nice and thin and even. A mandolin really is the best tool here, and this is just a 30 buck mandolin from the kitchenware store. It has a ceramic blade, so it's nice and sharp, and it makes for really easy and quick thin slices. But again, you can use a knife if you don't have a mandolin. Make sure that as you slice your apples, you are tossing them in lemon juice because this will prevent browning and keep our apples looking nice and fresh and beautiful. So tossing in lemon juice as we go, I'm just going to resume slicing until my apples are completely sliced and I have enough to make about six little rose pies. So now that my apples are all sliced, I'm going to toss them in two tablespoons of unsalted melted butter two tablespoons of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And your spices and flavorings are totally customizable here. This is just a bit of an apple pie type of flavor that I've got going on. Um, it's going to help sweeten up the apples and make it feel more like a pastry dessert. And it's going to smell amazing while it bakes in the oven. So now I'm just going to go ahead and microwave this for about 45 seconds or until the apples are soft enough to mold easily and are, are more pliable. Okay, so I have one sheet of frozen puff pastry which has been defrosted and I'm basically just going to stretch it out a little bit more than its package size. I wanna roll it out to a nine by 12 inch rectangle and I, I use a ruler here because I'm all about accuracy but you can kinda of just eyeball it. But we wanna make sure that we're cutting two inch strips of this puff pastry dough because this is what's going to make up our six rose ap apple roses. So once I have all of my pastries sliced, I'm actually going to spread some apricot preserves that I've mixed in with a little bit of water and let uh, come to room temperature. You can also microwave. And this is, again, is going to help our apples feel a little bit sweeter and it's going to help them stick and have everything come together nicely. So I'm just spreading the apples across this strip of puff pastry in an overlapping manner. And I'm using about eight to 10 apple slices, depending on the size of the slices and I'm just going to fold over the bottom of the pastry over the apple slices and then roll it up nice and tightly and then seal the seam. And this is the basis of our apple roses. Aren't they so pretty? So I'm going to repeat this with the remaining apples and strips. They're going into a greased muffin tin and then we'll go in the oven at 375 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or until golden brown and cooked through. As a finishing touch, we can sprinkle some powdered sugar on these and they're all ready to be served. All right guys, here's one of my apple roses. It's super cute and beautiful, individually sized, so it's perfect for any dinner party or holiday occasion. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next time and I'll catch you around soon in another food video.